Masa Amini. Masa Amini. Masa Amini. Death of a 22-year-old Masa Amini. Dates 13th September 2022. Masa Amini, a 22 year old Iranian woman, was arrested by the morality police for not wearing a hijab. And two days after her arrest, she died in the hospital. This incident ignited a wildfire of protest in Iran, which led to even dire consequences. Let's unfold the complete story of this inhumane incident. Before we move further, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to stay tuned. How did Masa Amini die? According to the police, she died due to a heart attack at the police station. After the heart attack, she fell to the floor and went into a coma. After being two days in a coma, unfortunately she died, but was this the actual reason? The eyewitness, the woman detained with Amini, came up with the statement that she died because of the brutal torture of police who severely beat her. In addition to her leaked medical scans, it was observed that she was diagnosed with cerebral hemorrhage and stroke. Her family also confirmed that Masa has no pre-existing health conditions. Her father also stated that he could only have a glimpse of her body when he went to the coroner's office for her daughter's body. Her leg had a bruise, which was an alarming sign. Now, let's talk about the background behind this incident. After the Iranian Revolution in 1979, Iran introduced a mandatory dress code for women. On 7th March, five months after the revolution, Ruhollah Khomeini, former Iranian supreme leader and religious figure, decreed the hijab compulsory for all women in their workplace. And if they entered any government office on wheel, they will be given a punishment. After this revolution, the violence and harassment against women not wearing a hijab became so common. It felt as if everyone got a permit from the government to do whatever they wanted to do with an unveiled woman. But in the last decade, young women in Iran tend to be more liberal about the hijab. In 2020, Al Khamenei, the leader of Iran's government, quoted, improperly wheeled women should be made to feel unsafe. Seriously? Do you think this statement from a leader is justified? Now that you understand the background of it, let's come back to the story of how Masa got arrested. On 13th September 2022, a 22-year-old girl named Masa Amini was at the Shahid Hagani Expressway in Tehran with her family. She wasn't wearing a hijab. The guidance patrol at the entry of the Hagani Expressway arrested her and then transferred her to the custody of the Moral Security Agency. Her brother Kiarish, who was with her at the time, said that the police told him they would take her to the detention center for a briefing class and would release her after an hour. Her brother kept waiting for her, and after two hours, he was told that her sister was taken to Castro Hospital by ambulance because she had a heart attack and brain seizure. And after being two days in a coma, Masa died on September 16th. Now, you must be thinking, was there any evidence of this violence? Irfan Moartizai, Amini's cousin, said this was not the actual reason. She was tortured and insulted in the police van, and her co-detainees were the eyewitnesses of this entire incident. The hospital where Amini was under observation posted on Instagram that she was brain dead when taken to the hospital. But then the post was deleted. Amini's brother also noticed bruises on her head and legs. Several doctors opined that she suffered a brain injury, bleeding from her ears and bruises under her eyes. The medical scans of her brain leaked hacked to whisk, bone fractures, hemorrhage and brain edema. The Iranian government was trying to betray the people by presenting fake medical records showing he had a history of heart disease. On 20th September, Dr. Masood Shirwani, a neurosurgeon, claimed on state-owned TV that Amini had a brain tumor that was extracted at the age of 8. So sad how a doctor could do this shameful act. Absolutely absurd. But her father declined all these statements. BBC also interviewed Amini's two classmates. They said they weren't aware of Amini being in the hospital. Not just this, an audio file was released by the former commander of Iran's Revolutionary Guard Corps named as reliable sources, saying that Amini's death was an injury to her skull resulting from a severe beating. I bet we don't think more evidence will be needed. What were the circumstances after her death? People didn't take this brutal incident silently. 
and came up with road protests, sanctions and social media protests. Many celebrities also reacted to this case. The incident's news spread like fire in Iran and hours after Amini's death, demonstrators gathered outside the Karasra hospital in Tehran. After that, protests broke out over Amini's death, including in Sakhez, her hometown. A Kurdish human rights group reported that protesters were treated with pepper spray, and many were arrested as well. Statements like death to the dictator and woman life freedom were all shouted over. Soon the marches and protests started spreading all over Iran daily, but instead of listening, police further killed five people during firing in the rally, two in Sakhez, two in Devendera and one in Degolan. Not just this, the security institutions forced Amini family to hold the funeral without any ceremony to prevent tension. Inhuman and infuriating, right? Dear viewers, this is a question for you to ask. Where is the world going? Humanity is dying day by day. Why aren't people afraid of God and the day of decision? Let us know your thoughts about all this and humanity occurring in the world. Share your thoughts with us in the comments below and don't forget to say a prayer for the poor soul. Until next time.